In this video we're going to be going through applications of linear systems, so basically linear systems word problems, and we will read through the problem, set up the two equations, and solve the linear system. Once we have the two equations set up, we can use elimination or substitution to solve them algebraically. They will be in standard form in all of these examples. Or we can use matrix. Since we don't have a video yet using matrix uh, during this unit, I will uh, use the calculator with the matrix method to solve each of these. So it says, the school that Stefan goes to is selling tickets to the annual dance competition on the first day of ticket sales. The school sold six senior citizen tickets, so that's important. And five child tickets, important, and that was a total of $38. Then next sentence, the school took in $21, so that's the total. On the second day, by selling three senior citizen tickets and three child tickets. What is the price, so this is important, what is the price of each one uh, senior ticket, senior citizen ticket, and child ticket? So for one senior citizen ticket, how much is it, and how much is one child ticket? So we'll write the equations from that given information. So we're talking about two things. That's the first thing that we need to identify. What two things do we need to solve for? We're solving for the price of a senior citizen ticket, so X equals dollar, so price of senior ticket. I'll just say senior instead of senior citizen ticket. Save some time. And we'll let Y equals the cost, the dollar, I'll say cost here, of a child ticket. So there's our X and Y. We identify our variables first. Now write the equation. So this underlined in blue up here, six senior citizen tickets, so 6X plus five times child tickets, 5y, is equal to a total of 38. So that's from this information right here in the problem. It's important to underline the important stuff. <clears throat> Next one, total is $21. So it equals 21. Three senior citizen tickets, so 3x, plus three child tickets, 3y, and that total is 21. So we'll use matrix here, second matrix, over to edit. We'll hit enter here, and then remember that when we use matrix, we need a two by three matrix. That's two rows, one, row one, row two, and three columns, one, two, three columns. You want to make sure your equations are stacked. X over X, Y over Y, equal sign over equal sign, and number over number. If not, then you need to rearrange them. So they should be stacked this way. So. The first row will be 6, 5, and 38. We're just entering those numbers there. So first row is 6, 5, 38. Second row is 3, 3, and 21. 3, 3, 21. Okay, now that we have the matrix entered, we'll check it. 6, 5, 38, check. 3, 3, 21. All looks good. Get out. Go back into matrix. Over to, we did edit first, now we're going to do math. We want this RREF option, and that's option B. The shortcut to get option B is alpha apps, the green key, purple letter key, alpha apps, alpha apps, green, purple letter. Second matrix, we did edit first, then math, now we're doing names. So just hit enter and enter one more time. So this printout right here, let's discuss what that means. This is a review. So this says, this first row right here says 1x plus 0y is equal to 3. So in other words, x equals 3. So that's this first row. The bottom row here says 0x plus 1y is equal to 4. So in other words, y equals 4. So the ordered pair is 3 comma 4. That's what this means. x was listed first, so it's the first number here. y was listed second in our equations. So it's the second number listed. So 3 comma 4. So that means a senior ticket is $3 and a child ticket is $4. So that answers the problem. So it's important to identify the two things you're talking about, assign your variables, and then really pay attention to what they're asking you to find. So let's move on to the next example. All right, example two, Mariah, Maria and Amy each improved their yards by planting hostas and geraniums. They brought 
they bought their supplies from the same store. Maria spent $60 on six hostess and two geraniums. Amy spent $66 on three hostess and five geraniums. Find the cost of one hostess and the cost of one geranium. So we're finding the cost. So Maria spent 60 total, six hostess, two geraniums. Amy spent 66 total on three hostess, five geraniums, and we want the cost, the cost of each. So first equation, well, let's identify our variables first. So x is equal to uh, the cost of uh, hosta plant, and y is equal to uh, the cost of geraniums. Oops, geranium. Okay, so let's write our equation. So six hostas, six x, plus two geraniums, two y, is equal to a total of 60. So that's this part right here. Then the next sentence gives us the next equation. So it equals $66 total, that's this part. And three hostas, 3x, plus five geraniums, 5y. So there's our two equations. We'll put them in matrix. We'll go a little faster this time than we did on the first one because we've already gone through this. So six, two, and 60 are the first row. Second row is 3, 5, and 66. Check it, 6, 2, 60. First row is good. 3, 5, 66 for the second row. That looks good too. So second quit, second matrix, over to math, alpha apps, back into matrix one last time, enter twice. So x is 7 and y is 9. So 7 comma 9 is the ordered pair. So <clears throat> cost of a hosta is seven dollars. That's this part, and a geranium is nine dollars. So seven dollars and nine dollars on that one. All right, let's look at the next one. All right, next example: the school that Kayla goes to is selling tickets to a fall musical. First day, they sold one senior citizen ticket, four child tickets for a total of twenty-eight. So that's all important there. School took in fifty dollars total and they sold five senior citizen tickets, two child tickets. What is the price? So we want the price of each of the two types of tickets. So we'll let X equal price of senior and Y is price of child ticket. A ticket here. All right. So there's the two things we're looking for, our X and our Y. Now let's write the equations from what we underlined. So one senior citizen ticket, so one X, plus four child tickets, four Y, is equal to a total of $28. So that's this right here. Next sentence gave us the next equation. So five senior citizen tickets, five X, plus two child tickets, two Y, is equal to a total of $50. So there's our two equations. Let's go into matrix, second matrix, over to edit. And first row is 1, 4, and 28. Next row is 5, 2, and 50. So check it, 1, 4, 28. That's an implied 1 there, 4 there, 28 there. Check 5 here to 50, 5, 2, 50, yes. That's all correct. Now that I have matrix in from the previous example, I can actually arrow up, highlight it, hit enter twice, and shortcut that a little bit. I don't have to go through the other steps. So that tells me that the ordered pair is eight comma five. So the price of a senior ticket is eight dollars, and the price of a child ticket is five dollars. So that answers that one. Let's go on to the last example. All right, last example for this video. The State Fair is a popular field trip destination. This year, the senior class at High School A and the senior class at High School B both planned trips there. The senior class at High School A rented and filled one van and one bus with 39 students. High School B rented and filled two vans and four buses with 134 students. Every van had the same number of students in it as did the buses. Find the number of students in each van and each bus. So it can be a little confusing. They're talking about High School A and High School B, and we're always looking for the two quantities that we need to find that in this case the high school A and high school B are really irrelevant based on the equations we need to write so we have to actually ignore that and the two things we're actually talking about 
are the vans and buses. So vans, buses, and our total students. And in the second situation, two vans, four buses, 134 total. So the un red underline, uh, well, let's assign our variables. So we'll let x equal, let's find what we're looking for, for find the number of students in each. So uh, x is number of students in each van. And we'll let y equal the number of students in each bus. All right, so red underline up here, one van, that's one x, plus one bus would be one y, is equal to 39 total students. The blue underline up here, two vans would be two x, plus 134, whoops, plus four buses, so four Y, is equal to 134 total students. So let's go into matrix, put that in, and first row would be 1139, 1139. Second row would be 2, 4, 134. All right, so get out. I'm going to go through all the steps. I could go up here and highlight the RFA and hit enter, and it would give me the answer, but uh, I did that last time, so we'll go through the, all the steps. We did edit, now we do math, alpha apps, back into matrix again. We did edit, we did math, now we do names, so just enter twice. So 11 and 28, so the ordered pair 11, 28. So that means the number of students in each van is 11, and the number of students in each bus is 28. And that answers that one, and that's it for this video.